There is nothing but darkness. Hands cover your eyes. There is nothing to be seen here. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of City of Mist Kingmakers. I'm your master of ceremonies, Ashley, and these are my players. I'm Cassidy. I'm playing Matthias, the Rift of Titan. Tele, and I'm playing Adelai, the Rift of Nemesis. I'm Sonia, and I'm playing Emma, the Rift of Athena. I'm Juno, and I'm playing Jane, the Rift of Hera. I'm Simon, I'm playing Aaron Frankel, Frankel, whose rift is King David. And uh, Selena, who plays Margolanus, will not be joining us for this episode. And last time on Kingmakers, we had a lovely wrap-up conversation that a large majority of us spent the rest of the time talking about. Uh, <laughs> and slash or screeching. There was a lot of screeching after we stopped recording, okay? I think it was mostly screeching, just it's, gonna... Yeah, ma- majority screeching, maybe 2% shipping chart circling. Uh, 2%? Some some like whooping and hollering of victory. <laughs> but... Uh, you guys left the city of Ashbourne with Jamie in tow, and you met up with Austin on the road, and you started that long conversation about uh, Foxbury, about the weird things that happened there, and have learned about this sanctuary program, which for most of you is probably the reason you got scholarships to the school. Uh, and we ended off, uh, most of you going to sleep, Aaron and Matthias having that lovely conversation, and then both uh, walking off to have separate little things. Matthias because doesn't need sleep, and Aaron because how could you sleep after that? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Awkwardly stares at each other from across the fire. Uh, But I I believe you said you guys were going to like walk around or something, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, Aaron said he was gonna go for a walk, and Matthias said, okay, half an hour, and then I'm coming to look for you. Aaron! How's your walk? I'm going to hope it's pretty uneventful, at least on the <laughs> physical plane of things. What do you do during this walk? What do you think about? Probably more of processing exactly what just happened. Replaying this conversation in your head. Like multiple times and like, okay, that happened. How do, how do I respond to this? Oh, at least he's, have... easy to, he's easy to spot in the distance, still kind of blushing. As he walks. And also, just a slight thing of, oh god, let's try not to get murdered while walking here. Because this place isn't pleasant. There's a lot of things going on right now. Yeah, how far away do you go from camp on your walk? Do you just walk around it, or...? Probably little ways, like, just around, maybe not even paying attention half the time. I'm like, oh, that looks like okay, a path, so probably. Meandering, but not trying too far. Are you keeping the camp in sight, or are you just walking? More of, like, I have a vague idea it's in that general direction. Okay, so you've walked into the distance, and you know where to go. Or maybe not, like... Maybe act like, oh, wait a second. Huh. <laughs> I think it's over there. Oh, so you're lost. Vaguely. Kind of, we'll say. He's too busy thinking about crafting, keeping direction. That's the last thing on his mind right now is, all right, how do I get back? Yeah, so it is, it's probably past the half an hour, so Matthias, you're like, I should, I should go look for him. <laughs> Uh, and Matthias, you walk in the, the direction that uh, you saw Aaron and went, and Aaron, you are walking back, when as you turn around to go back to where you think the direction of camp is, hopefully, uh, something catches your eye in, like, the corner of your peripheral vision. What, what is it? Uh, turn around to, like, 
like, oh, what's that? Uh, and uh, you think there is someone on the side of the road. Uh, what? A very small someone. Huh. That's interesting. Do and like, I guess we'll go investigate on what exactly is the situation because this is not typically seen in the middle of the night. So you turn and you walk toward the small figure who is like splayed on the ground, like unconscious. Oh, okay, much more urgency. <laughs> but just like sitting there. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it is a little girl, uh, when you approach. Uh, she's wearing very nice clothing for the, for Althara, like, kind of reminiscent of, like, nobleman's clothes that you've seen so far, uh, in bright reds. Uh, her hair is long, blonde, very curly. Uh, she is, uh, dirt, and her, like, her outfit is torn, uh, there's some blood visible. Uh, and she... There is something you can't quite make out that she is clutched in her fist. Uh, she is like, either is it, like, too dark? Because I can easily fix the light problem. Or is it, like, I don't know what uh, it, it is. It's just that it's small, and her fist has is closed and has stayed closed while she's, oh. like, out. Okay. Um... I'm going to go back to try to find other people to assist in this situation. Aaron is not the healing person, it's everyone else. That That is fair. So you leave her and go uh, continue trying to go back to camp to try to, to find uh, someone else. Yeah, I guess that's what he... Please take the child. I don't think he Do saved so take Someone, the someone child. had to have left her like this. She's probably got something important. Well, you? Aaron's decision has already been made. Uh, but luckily for all the party involved, uh, Aaron meets Matthias on the way back. Thank God. Uh, Matthias, you see like Aaron probably running, like sprinting to go get help. Uh, away or towards? Are we running away or towards? Like, which... A, a way to come back with help situation. Okay, but, like, help with what? Is there something chasing you? There's a person kind of unconscious on, like, the side of the... I don't know. Go at... That to... way? Yes. If this... If okay, you, can. you go get help. Okay. I will go first aid. And Matthias will jog off. It's probably okay. sprint off. Uh, then Matthias, you see the same th- scene that I described. Uh, you probably place her age at around nine or ten. Notes, type notes. Ooh. Okay, nine or ten year old. I would like to first aid check for pulse, see if she's alive, uh, breathing. She's breathing. Uh, definitely alive. Uh, seems to just be unconscious. I'll try and tap her awake. Yeah, well, as you're shaking her hand, her eyes do flutter open. <laughs> and she sits up with a, a gasping breath and, like, looks around a little and then realizes she's, uh, like, where she is and starts, like, panicking, pushing you away. Oh, well, well, no, no, no. Does it... Are, I'm just trying to help. Are you hurt anywhere? I saw that there was blood. Are you injured? Uh, she, uh, doesn't say anything, but she, uh, lifts up, uh, one of her hands, not the one that has been clenched and is still closed, uh, and it is broken. All fingers there, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Uh, and Matthias will, like- will lift up, like, the skirt of her dress, and her ankle is also, like, pretty badly mangled. So he's gonna be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick you up. We have some healers back at camp. Is that okay? Uh, she takes a moment to like look you up and down, and then nods. I, and I was like, I'll like scoop and like walk kind of slowly. So can you speak? She shakes her head no. Okay. 
Do you know how to write? She shakes her head no. All right, that's okay. We'll figure well, it out. She shakes her head no, and then she thinks about it, and then makes like a so-so, kinda. Okay, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Is there people around who are going to be looking for you? Uh, she uh, nods and then shrugs. Uh, <clears throat> people you do want to see again or people you don't want to see again? She nods. Do you want to see him again? She nods. Okay. All right, we'll get you back to camp. We'll get you healed up. And we'll get you some food. And we'll figure this all out. You'll uh, be okay. Okay. Uh, and as you're doing, as you walk back, uh, Aaron, you run into camp. Everyone is asleep. Who do you go wake up? Probably anyone who I think has a vague ability to assist the situation. Hazel. Uh, so yeah. Hazel and uh, Jane. Yes. From what you you would know off the top of your head. Uh, <clears throat> You go to wake up, Jane? Yeah. All right. how, are you, how are you waking them up? Probably with semi-urgency. Okay. So, waking them up, but also kind of waking everyone up, because you're not thinking about being quiet. No, thinking is not on the, on the important part. For multiple multiple reasons, the whole idea of thinking ahead and, wait a second, let's plan this out at least a quick second. That's been thrown out the window like an hour ago at this point. Lovely. Uh, so I'm going to say that, that everyone gets woken up at around this time by Aaron shaking people awake. Aaron, what's what's going on? Aaron, why are you waking up in the middle of the night? <laughs> Is Aaron still like faintly glowing too? Absolutely. A fate, oh yeah. god, that's, that's so bright! Every that emotion you? you can imagine stuff that you can do? What, what? are you doing? Wait, am I finally yeah. dead? Not the time right now. <laughs> that, we'll discuss that later. Aaron, Aaron is an angel! <laughs> Did he die? Oh dear lord. There's like a situation. What's you the situation, situation, Aaron? Aaron? What's the situation? This person's uh, kind of on the road, kind of not conscious. I don't know. I freaked out and came back to everyone here. An unconscious person on the road? And yeah, left and them. assist. We need assist. They need assistance. All right, them. lead us there. Let's go. This seems kind of urgent. So. Hazel's coming with us, right? Cause Absolutely. At this point, everyone in camp is up and is sort of like, what's going on over there? Well, uh, what are they doing over there? <laughs> but... You guys eventually uh, meet together, Matthias slowly walking back with this uh, uh, small girl. Oh boy. Hazel! Uh, and she, and Hazel rushes forward and uh, uses her powers. And because they're, they're pretty bog standard uh, broken bones, this is something that Hazel's power can do really easily. <laughs> Yay! Finally, Hazel looks like finally a regular injury. No one. Matthias will go get like it's not magic. Matthias will go get the journal and like flip to the last page and like hand her a pen and be like, "Can you write?" She takes a moment to like test the the wrist that has been healed, Uh, and she uh, writes her name in really shaky, big like, not used to writing oh. letters. Uh, her name is Marcel. Marcel, honey, can you draw? Oh, she nods at that. Would that be easier than trying to write? She nods bigly, like, yes. Yes, that, that would be much easier. <laughs> then let's try that. Go for it. What happened? Uh, she... Before she draws, she opens her hand, and it's a little, uh, rock. It's a little stone. Uh, I might recognize it, some of you. Uh, some of you might might not. It is a travel stone, yes. Hmm. Uh, it is cracked down the center, and it is not glowing anymore. Oh. 
Uh, she oh, draws a picture of like her in uh in like a like a stick figure version of her in a very simple like house drawing uh like looking at stuff and like sneak like not sneaking around but like you get the feeling like childishly messing with your with the random junk your family has met, has laying around finds this uh stone in the in the picture and like plays around with it for a little while uh there's like a poof in uh she is in uh well outside of not in a forest if we showed you a map do you think you'd be able to point to where you're from like a so-so symbol. So-so. Adelaide brings oh. out the map. Yeah. Uh, she points uh, toward the northwestern sort of area of the continent. Long ways from home. What's the you know your last name? Oh, she shakes her head. No. No. Oh, how do you know your last name? Oh, Some people just don't have a last name. It's like a thing. Oh, true. Yeah, you know, like a family name thing. Might not be a thing here. We don't know. Um. Do you know your parents' names? Or do you have any? Uh. She nods, but she, like, points at the pencil and is, like, shakes her head no a couple times. You can't write them? You can't write She nods yes. Can you draw what they look like to the best of your ability? You get two stick figures. One in, like, a a suit and one in a dress. (laughs) Wow, you are a very good artist. Um, Matthias will like semi seriously take the drawing out and like fold it up and be like, "We'll keep an eye out for these people," and like we'll put it in his pocket. Okay. Uh, but she continues so- to to draw though, uh, because she points at her her wrist that was broken and her ankle, ankle that was yeah. broken. I was about to. Uh, and she like. On her, like, in the drawing, she had more things. Like, she got transported with all of the stuff that was around her. Oh. And she, like, picked all of it up and started walking. And, like, from the picture, you're pretty sure you're you're not 100% positive that this little girl got robbed. Ooh. Great fellas, they are. Do you know how, uh, how long ago this was? Or can you give us a guess? Uh, she shakes her head no because uh, she she's unconscious for a large she's majority of that. Was uh, the sun? Was and this... she doesn't draw any other figure besides one. Like there is one person that it's not bandits. It's a bandit. Was the sun a uh, really bright? the little girl. Wow. Was the sun really bright when it happened? She nods. Okay. What does the bandit look like? You get um, another stick figure. Now this one ha- does have like a detail on it, like has a scar on the just above the left eye. Hmm. Did you see which way they went? She shakes her head. No, okay. she's not unconscious. Were they human? She nods yes. That narrows some places down. Are Is you it- hungry? She nods yes, like much, much larger. Emphatically. Yeah. <laughs> like Matthias walks away. That is the prepared. word I am looking for, Jade. Thank you. <laughs> I like to yes. Take that she looks at it strangely for a little while, then eats it, takes a little nibble, and then like looks at it and like, oh, this is good. <laughs> like <laughs> takes a bigger bite. Is that Matthias so- gets her actual food? <laughs> Is that stuff really important to you and your family? Uh, she kind of, uh, she shrugs. She like, doesn't know. Okay. She doesn't know. Uh, 
Well, you definitely are important. So we're going to make sure to get you back home. Even if we fly you northwest, uh, we can get you to an area where you can recognize your way home. You're going to leave a child? We're going to take her home. What's the, no, yeah, we're, we're not going to ditch her. What yeah. Is we fly over there, we get her to a place where she can recognize, and we walk her the rest of the way. Yeah, I mean, she, she got she got rocks. And then... I lean over to Felix, and I'm just like, hey. Oh, is this a time that would be good? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just a little peek. Okay. We should let think her. of your home and what your parents look like. <laughs> okay, you're thinking about it. Uh, and Felix drops limp for like a three seconds because he's just trying to find those pictures. And he comes to and is like, big house. <laughs> you think you That's helpful. I think so. And he points to the northwesternmost tip of Alfara in Skystead, the capital of mm. Andrathus. Oh, dear lord. Oh. Please don't make us go back there. <laughs> you guys have never been there before. Yeah. Different capital. You've been to the northeastern uh, tip of Alfara, to the capital of Belenar and Solaris. Had a lie in that group had. Hold up, yes. Ashley, do we... Uh, Maddie and... They, they were there for like a day. <laughs> Ashley, do we still have Dormant Loyalty 5? No, no. But that's gone, that's gone. Okay. I don't think you were there when I said that was gone, Jane. So. <laughs> okay. yes, that, that is long gone into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I realized it was on my sheet and I was like, oh my god, wait. But considering where you guys start to land, <gasps> there might be, luck? Mouse Luck might be back. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Nice. Could we... I'm gonna say, because I thought of it, Mouse Luck is totally back, as long as you are within the vicinity of the mirror groves. Alright. First, let's check out what's going on in the mirror groves. Do we want to check in on everybody? Maybe but, find a few Fae if needed. Um, I agree with what they were talking about, how our group is rather large and rather loud. I don't think all of us should go in the mirror grove. Also, if I'm thinking about it, yeah, from like the three things I know of this group so far, from our one grand total conversation, um, stealth doesn't seem to be our modus operandi. So maybe, maybe we that split off into smaller working cells here. I was thinking maybe we send the people who are originally in the mirror grove back into the mirror grove. Because if they're doing, like, a stealth thing, then wouldn't it make sense to be like, Hey, my two peeps ran to go get a friend, and now we're all back. Rather than all 20 of us being like, Hello! <laughs> <laughs> we're here now. Technically, you do count as a village now. We are a moving village. We are a roaming horde. We didn't set down and, like, set up. We are, like, a <laughs> clan at this point. <laughs> Should we de decide uh, who's going with what group then? In the morning? Sure. Yeah, you guys mm. need the sleep thing. Uh, Jane, will I cough? Sleep. Anybody know? What did you say, Adelaide? How long have we been asleep? Anybody know? A couple hours. Mm. What does count? Three hours. I should get enough go money. back to sleep. <laughs> All right. I thought you were complaining about your old lady memory. Don't you need your beauty sleep to help alleviate that? Oh, trust me. Beauty has long since left me. <laughs> oh, that's not true. You're gorgeous for your age, Adelai. Also, do you need to sleep some more? Or do you think you, you need to sleep? You are a nice boy. <laughs> Maddie. Hmm? I was gonna say, I was asking Marcella if uh, she would stay up with you or if she's going to sleep. 
she uh, like quizzles her eyebrow and shrugs. Are you tired? So so. Go ahead and take a nap then. She looks Not at the the Not dirt the huts that have been enacted. <laughs> Matthias makes her one, and then, like, puts, like, his extra bedding in there. Uh, and she, like, once again kind of looks at it a little distastefully, but, like, nods, thank you, and <laughs> curls up anyway. And then it hits Matthias, like, oh, yeah. okay, <laughs> noble, I get it now. Not used to sleeping in the dirt like us. Maybe this will be a Ezekiel, like, full-on is rubbing his face <laughs> in the dirt next to his pillow. <laughs> Maybe this will be a humbling experience. He doesn't even have to move. He can just psychically do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, most of you uh, go back to sleep for a couple more hours uh, before morning comes. Or by sleeping, you mean just pretend to sleep. Or or doing the errand maneuver of having learned that this group does not take no when it comes to sleeping, so has the <laughs> eyes closed and, like, laying down, but definitely not sleeping. Or just and eyes up and she's up. <laughs> Three hours, that's fine. Or eyes up for the rest of the night, determinedly. Yep. By the way, Aaron wants to say, if someone else is going to be up and they're not going to, like, force them down, he's going to be obviously still awake. They're not getting tackled to the ground to sleep. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Then Matthias, Adelaide, and Aaron, if you were the three staying awake, what do you spend the rest of your evening doing? So, both of y'all are glowing now. And did you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Because that was a thing that started, but when you get when we split off, he glows when he's embarrassed. It's kind of cute. What? What? That he glows made him so embarrassed. embarrassed that he is literally a twin of you. Excuse me, I'm going to take a small walk away from you. <laughs> immediately, <laughs> like it was getting better, and now immediately. <laughs> Christmas tree again. <laughs> quickly, like Matthias, look like make full eye contact with Adelaide, smirks, but then shrugs his shoulders. <laughs> Adelaide just chuckles. <laughs> Good day. I'll be over um, here. Goodbye. So when's the wedding? <laughs> uh-huh. Walks a little uh-huh. bit further away. No, I'm damn serious. Are we gonna have one here? Ha ha ha. Funny. Dress or tux? Dress. Uh, Dress. <laughs> I'll make one. Jane, you're asleep. <laughs> Matthias will spend the rest of the night, like, working out, but mostly doing dumb shit, like trying to see how many handstand push-ups he can do. Yeah. Before he falls over. Eventually, Marcel looks like she's not gonna fall asleep, uh, reffing it, so she uh, waddles kind of over and, like, watches you curiously. Is this what you do every night? Honestly, sometimes people just hand me stuff and they're like, hey, read this, but I'm not very good at reading things critically, so that never goes well. <laughs> uh, a lot of nights, I try and dance. Uh, but then, yeah, most of the time I end up working out because I don't know what else to do with my time. No wonder he's so strong. <laughs> How long has it been since you've actually slept? So I'm 20 to 4 years. Hmm. I forget what it feels like. I remember sleeping in felt super good, and I do miss that. <laughs> well, but also it's like super helpful because I go to school during the day, mm-hmm. and then at night I get to pull a full twelve-hour shift at the hospital. I guess that's one perk, ain't it? 
You know, the next time you knock, you get knocked out, I think that's the closest you'll ever be to sleeping. Have I been knocked out here? I'm sure I've been knocked out here. I I have money on it that you have. I might not know that money on I it. I think with the the weird beasts with the horns, was I knocked out in that fight? I don't know. I know I was stabbed in that fight. With the aura car, car you were. In the yeah, I was knocked out in the aura car. That was true. Mm. Yeah, but that didn't feel like refreshing like sleep does. Mm. As the conversation has changed, Aaron will actually come back and sit down by other human beings. Only slight, very faint glowing still, but you know. Yeah, eventually the sun rises, morning comes, everyone wakes up one by one. Uh, Adelaide starts breakfast. Like she's holding a frying pan for some reason over <laughs> Maddie's head. <laughs> I can start an actual time. fire. This not as entertaining. Just don't get grease in my hair. I genuinely don't know how it'll react. Grease fires are hard to put out. <laughs> you guys are gonna have antics. Here's an antics song. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, eventually everyone uh, wakes up, uh, and now it is time to decide who is going where and doing what. All right, Maddie, you have that list of things we have to do, right? I think we should assign different groups to different tasks of the things that need to get done. Okay. Well, let's just add return Marcella home to the very oh, top yeah, of the list. Definitely. Return Marcel is, in my opinion, number one priority. Of course. Any objections? Do we have any other things that happen up north, west? That we could group that in with a group that does that also does any. Kate walks oh, over. Okay. My clone. <laughs> Aids is closed. Your clone is northwest? Okay, so those yes. are the that does that, okay. I'll have to do myself, okay. We can also look for people up there, especially if her family is um, a noble no, family. Look for people in everybody well, group. That's thing. where Scarlet yeah. was from, so that's where we should look first. Didn't it take you all a while to get past the border in the first place? That was the border yeah. between the, the, the Denal and here. Mm. Which is the border around the island. Um, but with an actual airplane, it only took like four hours. Yeah. Makes me wonder just how. Uh, do we know where Batman is? Batman's at the other border, right? Because we missed him in the Denali. Yeah. Okay. Uh, northeast border. Northeast. Or southeast? It just said border. And there's something. The because they were- he was dealing with the Denal border, right? I'll let right, you haphazardly so flip through your notes to see if you can find the direction Erin is, but if you can't, I will- I'll give you the right direction. Because <laughs> I'm- I'm almost positive I have told you multiple times. I remember you telling me, but I don't remember writing it down. Like, he straight I'm up really told you where he was going East. when he split up with you guys the first time? And then two people who- like knew where the like the shadow knights were going. Uh, told where all of the shadow knights were collecting. I'm thinking northeast, but I might be wrong. Where are the crowd? I'm thinking northwest. I'm thinking one of you two is right, and only one of your names starts with a J. <laughs> <laughs> northwest. Yes, northwest. I really remembered it. I'm so yes, proud of myself. Yes, you did. Congrats. <laughs> I All was right, like, so Batman, Marcel, and uh, what was the other one? So we're doing oh, yes. we're doing Batman, Marcel, and second case. Right. Kate's clone. Those are clone. He's clone. And we're just we're just like meeting up with Batman, right? Yes. Just checking in. Checking in. 
And I have Batman on my list, finish? but. Uh, the Free Fae. Do we know where she's located? Is that the one that kid? I'm pretty uh, sure that's in the up opposite side of the continent. Uh, you, uh, from your memory, since you made that realization last time that you had met someone named Estrala before, uh, though it was an illusion. She wasn't actually there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that when was inside was the Denali. My son. Uh, but you don't know where, it, if she's actually there, you have no way to tell where she would be. That was the Fae who kidnapped Ezekiel, correct? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. One of them. It was the only one we found. The one that was in charge of babysitting. Hmm. Uh... Her words. I mean, we could try and check in on the labyrinth situation, but I don't think we want to go back there. Mm -mm. Not the labyrinth, no. No. Plus, they got you out of there one time, Athena says to you, Eva. <laughs> I am not doing it again. Yeah, that's, that's a no. The labyrinth is a no. Dear GM, where are we now? Uh, you guys are somewhere in the fields in between uh, the Fendergal Mountains and the Mirror Groves, the big forest and the only mountain range on Althara. So you're like smack dab in the center of the continent. Well, we got a while to go. Yes. If you're flying, uh, it would take probably a good four hours uh, to fly over the Mirror Groves and to get, that's to get to the border. It might take like, it would take a while longer to get to Skystead. Don't we have something to do in Astrocane? Uh, not that you know of. I mean, you know exactly one person who went to Astrocane. Uh, and that was the first person you really met and talked to. Uh, the one who gave you directions. That's the one that died. The Vithia. That you guys don't knew that. Know that. No. I don't. know. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, Levithia. And that is where the uh, pilgrimage, where a, a bunch of the, the Holy Sisters were headed to Astrocane. That was about two months ago now. But, I mean, it's on the way, and if your goal is to see all of, like, the Althara's greatest hits, the Seven Wonders of Althara, whatever we're calling them, uh, Astrocane would be on that stop, because it is a independent city-state. So, and who's going back to the Mirror Grove? That would be, um... Assumably me, Sylvia, and Eric heading back that direction. Yeah, I yeah, really guess so... it's like whoever wants to. Don't mind if we steal Jamie then, do ya? No. Sylvia says. Jamie, you don't mind? No. Okay. okay. Sweet! You're having with us then. And that Jane should will, probably the, be the maximum size limit. And Jane since we, will, like, uh... And any of us fly. Sylvia, you can teleport now. We'll find a tree. Well, that and we'll have to fly over the mirror grove to get to the place we're going. So we can just drop you off. I'm gonna mark the ones that they're gonna be solving while in the mirror grove. Jane oh, is gonna... Yeah. Thank what is your list for us that you made? I was not here for this. Uh, why do they want humans? But well, we figured out that was for trade, but I, I'm a little sus. But that's just me. Um, how does Silvus know Batman? Uh, Urin Lighten is Batman. Um, so <laughs> I'll what ask is that him connection? when I see him. Um, does he know where Delta is? If he did, I don't Delta think Delta is Mello. another Fae? Another mm -hmm. free Fae, yes. I'll ask him. Well, I'll have Melody mm -hmm. ask him, I should say. We need and does he know where Astrala is? Okay. Oh, yeah, we do need a way to communicate long distances. And why did he help kidnap my son? He's so a little supervillain. It could have just because he felt like it and was bored. That could honestly be the full reason. Whose finger right. was it? Whose finger was it? That is a good question. 
there was a finger? There was oh, a yeah. finger. Lovely. Jane we is going to, to communicate. We have what? phones, but we need cell towers based along the continent. So we can I mean, I could possible. start setting those up, but there's no guarantee. Like, they wouldn't be very big, and there's no guarantee that people wouldn't just take them down, or they would just not break on their own. That's that's a problem, yeah. We don't exactly have, Do you have a better way of communicating. I mean, I could make walkie-talkies or radio, but could those last the whole continent long? No, that would okay, be for exactly short range. Right. They wouldn't work long range. But short range would be a good idea as well. If we had a way, like sending stones or whatever, getting sending stones or whatever they're called would be I a still, good idea as well. I still have one of those, right? With like an unknown amount of charges. Yes, you do still have a sending stone. And. Okay, out of character. Did you guys already fix the mind control down. thing while I was gone? Nope. Then I'm gonna think really hard at Felix. Jamie's still mind controlled. You didn't do he's... anything about it the last time I tried. I was unconscious. He thinks back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God. oh we... yeah, no. We that would be another one that goes with the people who are going to the mirror grove. They'll have to take care of that. But, but, oh. Uh, Should I go with them, since I'm the only mind reader? Mm, I'm also currently the only one who knows what Marcel's house looks like. I think you should stick with us, Felix, since you know what Marcel's house looks like. If you can draw it, that would be amazing, but... Did they my artistic bil- abilities are, uh... Any... Not great. Or to- just describe any details that you think would only be in that house. It's really big. Could you, like, think it to me and I could draw it? Yeah, I think it's one of them. I mean, yeah, I could just, I can just give you guys the memory. That's one of the many things that I can do. Why don't you just give it to me then? Yeah, just do that. Okay, and he sends them, and it is really big. It is a mansion. It's a manor. Uh, It is uh, very, very large, uh, and it seems to be by itself. Like, it's not in the city proper, but you can sort of see it in the distance, because it looks like this house is sort of situated on, like, a hill or a cliff or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and behind it, you can see uh, the rest of the city walled. And, uh, Jane It was... does, uh, it has a royal, like, it has a crest of a noble family on it. Oh. Uh, uh, red, gold, and orange coloration uh, with a black, fiery bird in the center. A black uh, phoenix? Mm. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Okay. Uh, Matthias looks a little uncomfortable with the thought of Felix splitting off. But he's like, I mean, if, if that's what Felix wants to do. J- Jane is gonna draw a sketch of uh the thing so everybody can have a kind of vague sense of what it looks like. Alright, cool. If we're, if, uh, Hazel said, if we're aiming for efficiency, are we just splitting into two groups and that's it? Or are we trying to get most of the... I think... Are we splitting all back up again? Maddie, Aaron, Aaron, Jane... Wasn't one of um, our goals to regather all of us? I feel like that was a goal. It was a goal. They kind of did that. We need to have a meeting place. Kinda isn't doing something. (laughs) Before we all split up, we should have a meeting place at a specific time where we try to all get to there. Where all our groups go at some point. Yeah, and then we can fill each other in on what has happened. Well, since the mirror grows is some of the toughest place to get you, Tattoo, meet at the Moradal. Big tree. You can okay. see it for most every place, and it's the first place we landed, so and it's a good when, place. When? when? Yeah. Has to be before the next solstice. Solstice. Yeah, it has to be before then, and the next, if if our next meeting time is going to be when the solstice is there, which I don't think we should do, then it will have to be with all of our people, too. So do we want to split it in half and have, like, a checkpoint, and then meet back yeah. again, like, a week or so before? So how long do we have? What month is it? Losing track of we time have like is two fun. months. We have like two months, I think. Because we've been, been here for two, spring. we've That's been here we for two, so we have summer. two more. Give 
give me a second, because the equinox just, the spring equinox just happened, and I'm looking up the distance of time between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. <laughs> Also, we need every group that we eventually group together needs to have a sending stone so we can at least keep contact in between meetings. You have, you, you guys have about two-ish, three-ish months. All right. So should we say like a month and a, a month. half? Month and a half. So we meet in, in the Mordal in a month and two weeks. Sounds good. What's the next group doing then? Uh, okay, what other activities do we have that aren't in the mirror grove and aren't up north? We need to find a fae. We, uh, we need to find a fae. We promised that we would take which, one of them. Which is part of the mirror grove The mirror grove Finding mission. Delta. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I need another color. Okay. <laughs> For three groups. So I'm trying to like do this like somewhat organized. Um, yeah. there's the fog monster thing. I'm gonna look at Felix. I'm adding that to your guys' list. Fog monster. Oh, am I for sure going with this group? I was asking yeah. if I, if I, if I should. Well, because we of the both, thing. We have both alternatives figured out. Um, somewhat. Whichever one you're personally more comfy with. Forget the mission or- orientation. You're 13. Whichever one makes you more comfy. Honestly, I really want to help uh, find the second case. I'm curious about that one. Yeah, so I so, feel like our group is going there, and our group's mission is return Marcel, because she clearly does case. not like sleeping in the dirt very much. So I'm gonna Who's look at her in mind. your group? Besides the... I'm assuming that you guys are gonna, in the main party, be in the same group. Right? Right? Yeah. Am I assuming yeah, correctly that I've assumed wrong before? <laughs> because Adelaide wants to find the second Cades, which is also part of our group okay. mission. Jane, Aaron, Emma, you're all good with going to enjoy yeah. this yeah. It's job. Fantastic. You have no idea how happy that makes me. Adelaide, what's the that we saw that was doing really well? Hmm? Adelaide, what's we the saw- second Cades that and she wants to find Delta. That's like her two main yeah. goals. And what did you Delta say, Emma? Delta's the one, so. I mean, you have no clue where Delta is. Not a single person is giving you a hint to Delta's location. No, no yeah. They, so the Mirror Grove is also asking, but we can keep an ear out that for that too. So I'll also mark that we're some asking people about go the free to, day. Some people should go back to Solaris and figure out what happened there. We already have contacts in Solaris. No, but like, the Solaris thing we need was a the group other thing to go I was going to touch on. Who cursed oh, the gem? Solaris, oh, how it ended up? Draster says, I also guess I can move the group back there since I can the fly. The thing, we need to figure out the dove thing. Yeah. He, the, who said that? Uh, uh, well, uh, Jasper and Adelaide, but Jasper will say, yeah, and that's the thing to keep a look at in Andrathus because the, the guy said he worked for a museum in Andrathus. Okay. His name is Eos. Most they worked in East Hollow, yeah? Lived in East Hollow? East Hollow or the City of Fire? I'm Looking for Eos? Direction. E-O-S. Yeah. East Hollow. Yeah, so East Hollow is in the big, the Living Wood, which is in Belenaren, and the City of That's Fire the is wood. the island on the, uh, the lake, the land's blood. Yeah. Okay, so that's so, not our group, that's your guys' that, group. No, is that our group? Because Indrathis? That's not in Andrathus. That's on no, the other no. side. Evra. It's on, it's on the big lake. I've only drawn, like, a couple lakes on the map. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I don't have a fire. map in front of me. Um, you guys all have a PNG of the map. I sent it to you guys the first episode. I don't think I have it saved. Uh, well, if all else fails, it's behind All of me. us need to be aware of. All of us need to keep an eye out for Leo. Yeah. Um, when you're like with the tribes, because you need to, to, we need people to meet with the tribes and figure out what their deals are. So that would and also what be. What happened with the random person shooting? Oh, that was. Mm-hmm. You might want to ask Silver Tongue about that or whatever his name is. Silver. You might be involved um, there. There was another one over there. Because uh, that. City is right on the border 
are the people from the Denal after us because we kind of pissed them off. <laughs> and what is happening at that border? Which is also a question we had because we heard that someone was like that they were sending troops there. True. Um And then who sent what's her face after the the gem? Who sent any? Who sent any after the gem? The nickname she gave us. Anestra. Anestra. It's your real name. I know NA must be so much easier for you guys to remember since it was the name of another NPC from D and D, but mm-hmm. <laughs> we're just gonna keep on calling her Any, and I'm going to keep correcting you, Inestra. You gave us I the name. That NA was account? the name she used as a like alias, a bad one because it's just part of her real name, but. <laughs> Oh, and the other thing that the the Mirror Grove group is is trying to figure out is why is it dying? Who is poisoning oh, yeah, the that's tree? A good one. Oh yeah, we still have our list of things to get done. Yeah, what are I'm things just are on the list that we haven't touched yet. Uh, um, for the for the Mirror Groves? No, not just for the Mirror Grove, for the whole thing. So we're just to figure that- out what other groups there are. So stuff that's not being figured out by the... I'm ripping these pages out and I'm going to write missions for the other groups. Fantastic. Ooh. Send those to me when you're done so I know what the other groups are being charged with. Okay. Mm-hmm. Please send us those uh, ours too because I can assure you most of us will forget. <laughs> I oh, yeah. Don't I know it. <laughs> so group one, uh, which is the Mirror Grove group. Lovely. This is, I know what this episode is going to be. This is a management episode, apparently. Oh, yes. So, this is the the first management episode we've had in 43 43 episodes. episodes. 43 episodes, yeah. 42, I think is actually right, because this is episode 43. So, uh, congratulations. (laughs) So, other than that. To be fair, we have been trying to chase down Ezekiel hey. of the series. We have. Um, Legitimately. Yeah. Has Felix decided which group he wants to go with it? Go with. Uh he'll stick with you guys. Okay. Right. So whose finger? Um ask about other free fay. I need better happy but everyone music. Everyone needs to keep a lookout for any All my happy things, music yes? is also sad. <laughs> everyone needs to keep a lookout for any dove tattoo things and our people. So we should we should also ask that ask about the doves just to see if um, Silvis has any info. Mm-hmm. Dove tattoo thing. Oh, victory! Um, the victory symbol. Oh, the, that thing, right. The one that our face, right. Which, whose face is it that, um, or who has the say? No, it was raw. It was raw. No, the, right, the, but, the fae that's associated with that symbol is Apophis. Uh, yes, but who, who has Apophis as their fae? No one. Uh, Ra, raw recognized it. Uh, raw recognized it. Right, Ra. And for whatever reason, uh, Ra and Apophis as Faye are like familial related. Uh, Somehow. How, <laughs> however, that, it doesn't translate well to Earth mythology, but somehow, uh, Jamie. It's Jamie's Faye. Jamie. Right, so that's something that the Mirror Grove will have to take care of as well because they have Jamie. Wow, that is a long list. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys sure you can handle all that, or do you want just to... We'll be fine. Awesome, okay. sis. At the very least, most of this is just stuff that we're going to ask Silvis, so it's not that difficult. Yeah, exactly. It's a big That's list, cool. but most of them are like, hey, Silvis, you mind answering 20 questions? <laughs> Let's play 20 questions. It wasn't actually a question, Silvis. You're playing 20 questions with us now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then what we're Our calling group. group two, which is Return Marcel Group. 
Return to ourselves, find Batman, Second Cade, find our people, and Dove Tattoos. Do you want me to go slowly with that? No, 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 I got it, I got it. Okay. We believe in you, Matthias. <laughs> Matthias, Matthias is like writing faster than he's ever written before. Um, we all need to look out for Jamie. So that's going on all of the oh, yeah. list. Jamie. Leo. Leo. Wrong name. Yeah. Jamie's like, what? I'm not lost. Points over at Jamie. He's here. <laughs> not I what I meant. You know it. Guy. And our, so we are checking with Astrocane on the way. Are you guys gonna land an Astrocane on the way? Mm. What is Ast- what do we have an Astrocane again? It's just the, like, at this point, if you visit Andrathis, it will be the only other, like, separate government you haven't visited. <laughs> as it is I a should, independent city. Okay. Maybe uh, after add that. Um, dropping off Marcella. Maybe on the way back. <laughs> yeah. Check in with the Free Fae. Again, See if we I can get any info on that. Good, good guess of where they might be. Okay. And then check in with Batman. Yeah. Our list is shorter, but much more spread out. Oh, yeah. And then the group three, the Bellinaren group, the group you're sending out to the northeast. Uh, who cursed the gem? Uh, are Maybe the Janal should... people after us? Maybe we should actually meet with the tribes this time, instead of just going to Milner. True. Mm. I'll add that to our own list, Jasper says. That's really sad. Oh, no, no, that was on the list. That's on the list, meet with tribes. Okay, fantastic. Like, that was like an official goal we made. kind of got apprehended. Yeah, maybe we should check in on that too. Yeah. Mm. Make sure that what's not- happening at the border. Make sure that situation stays cold. Yeah. You might want to be. What are you guys checking in with? Border. Checking in with the border. And checking with both borders. The Lotus Tribe. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. And the ones I have on this list that we have not touched on, I'm going to go through and mark with pink. So we have not... uh, I don't think that we can make a group for these. Um, We'll just have to find a way to spread it out. So... Like, who is the fog monster? We don't know that one. We're not going to be able to figure it out, probably, because we think it's someone back on Earth. But we can all brainstorm. Um, who sent any? We don't know where any is located, and we don't know who her master is, right? Mm-hmm. Keeper. Her keeper. That was the thing. Um, how to free the Fae without murdering them is a yeah, thing. That's, a that's an important one. If I choose a group, it's that group, Catalina says. Yeah, I don't think we can assign that to a group. I think that's also something we all need to look into. Um, the Eos and the Dove Tattoo shit. Uh, is anyone doing that one? I think we're all keeping an eye on out. And yes, everyone's he, got Eos. He said he worked at a museum in Andrathis, so it is more... Uh, you might find more leads than the rest of us. We should probably try to find out more about the Denal and that rebellion that's happening and why there's a little... Oh, yeah, but do we want to... <laughs> I think do we, we want to go back to the Denal is the question. <laughs> or we can just leave Stephen Bear's lie and take their course. I mean, we need to know more about it because clearly we know way more than everybody else on this continent already does. Eh, well. don't be so arrogant, please. I don't want to go back there. Well, that was most scary. of the people, the royalty on this continent know, knew less about the Denal than we did, and we've been here for two months. That's because y'all actually went. Okay, so the ones I have marked in pink. Uh, who's the fog monster? Who sent any? How to free the Fae? Um, 
the labyrinth situation, which I'm pretty sure we're staying away of, but it's on the list. The whole dragon thing, which uh, I don't think any of our groups are particularly interested in going back to the one dragon we know about, slash circling out, like, seeing if there's other dragons, which... um, How to get home, which is a thing we need to figure out together. And the driver of the bus. Driver of the bus with a dog monster, calling it. Yeah. We, I'm thinking Fog Monster too, but... I really do okay. think we... Remember the Nanal because it's like every, once every every once in a while someone will come out from the Denal and like uh, cause a mass genocide of people and that seems like a problem, so we should, you know... That's the border people, the people who... Okay, are I'll add it to the list, back. mark it in pink, and then forget it's there on purpose. <laughs> The last time you guys try to try to fight a uh, a fallen or a car, uh, it didn't go well for you. <laughs> nope. Did Manny die? Near Very almost. close. This was the time where he got knocked out. Yeah. It was a, a precarious situation, to say the least. Um, and I want to for the the what page I wrote on the Mirror Grove group. I want to very specifically give it to. What is her name? I have it written down somewhere. The girl with the tree thing. Sylvia. I want to very specifically give that list to Sylvia because Matthias will have in like pretty small letters uh, written down like Jamie mind control thing dot 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 and we'll like hand it to her <laughs> and be like in the mirror grove? and she nods it's and Sylvia goes Austin. and she says out loud another thing to talk to Sylvia about. And Matthias will just nod. Uh, so, whose finger? Who's in that group, by the way? It's Sylvia, Austin, Jamie. It's it is right now just the people who came from the Mirror Grove. So Sil- Sylvia, I mean, like, Austin, the people and, in plus the- Jamie. Sylvia, Austin, Eric, and Jamie. Did Felix decide? And then the people who are still yes. in the Mirror Grove, which is Mercedes okay. and who else is in the Mirror Grove? Mercedes too? and Melody. Do we really wanna? Stick our nose into whose finger that was. Yes, it's a child's yes. finger. It was a child-sized finger. And we kind of just ignored it, and that's not very good it because... It can also be a pinky. No, it... it no, sure I verified it with my... Eyes. Hazel's like, I did the magic. It is a child's left index finger. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Just feel like that's something that's not really important. Do we still have that on us or no? No. Lost oh. in the or car or a car wreckage of uh whatever year it is in mm-hmm. Altara right now. 150. 151. Whoever that poor child was, I'm that pretty was sure if their body parts are being sent across the world. Um uh, they're probably not alive. But we should find out who killed them, even if they aren't alive, to prevent it from happening in the future. Except we don't have any leads on that one. Then we need to find some. Yeah. I'm not okay with just leaving that situation alone. That was a That's severed true. finger we were delivered. Yeah. We'll keep an eye out for that, Austin says. I'm fine with investigating murder. That is one of the skills that I actually have. Okay, so group number three, the people that are going to Solaris, who is in that group exactly? I don't know. You guys haven't split the rest of the groups. Uh, who's going with Yudu and Drathus, and who is going to you with Valenarin? I'll kind of let you guys pick who you want to yeah, come with the you. One that's flying? <laughs> Jasper. We... Jasper is going to Valenarin, definitely. Okay. <laughs> because he can fly. So, can we take a... I, wanna... I would like to say, like, Ryan, Autumn, Hazel with us. Yeah, uh, we should we should let uh, Team B go to Bell and Aaron. Hazel will say, Jane is the only other healer, though, and if we're dividing our resources better, I should probably Hazel go with the go other with group. group. Sorry, I'm nice. Thinking logically about this. Because last time we had a lot of problems with we didn't have power sets that met the tasks we needed. Yeah. yeah. Now that we have the tasks, List yeah, now that we have a list of tasks, we can devise who would be best suited for what group. And since Jane, uh, you can heal, 
uh, as well, uh, then I should probably go with a different group. So we do not hog all the healers, as it were. Although, honestly, I think Ma Mary Kate phase. should go. Mary we'll Kate should go with Hazel heal. and Jasper. Matthias and... looking like a kicked puppy in the corner. Uh. <laughs> so Mary Kate, uh, Gay Moon, and um... most of the people who were at uh, Solaris originally are probably going to go to Solaris again. Yeah, <laughs> because they have all the knowledge needed. They don't need to be caught up on what. So Autumn and Ryan are coming with us. Is Nina yeah. also coming with us, or is Nina going somewhere else? I mean, numbers-wise, Nina should probably go with someone else. Group three only has four people so far. Uh, what? what where are Kai and Alyssa leaning towards going? Yeah, they should. Yeah, because it's Kai, Kai Alyssa, and Sarah. <laughs> oh yeah, they're yeah, a three they deal. <laughs> they're a three deal because it's Kai, Alyssa, and Alyssa's chosen. Uh, True. They're coming with us, if only for character development. <laughs> yes. What is this character development you speak of? But yes, they'll go with you guys. You think I would split up? There's a reason I didn't argue for Ryan and Autumn to go a different place. Um, Alright, who's in group three? Currently, it's Jasper so Hazel, Mary Kate, Gay Moon. What's Gay uh, Moon's real name? Sawyer. Sawyer. Uh, Layla. Layla will go with them, and also probably uh, Nina. And if we are forgetting anyone, because there are a lot of NPCs, audience. They are in group three. <laughs> okay, thank gosh. Oh, I'm typing these up on my phone to text in the group chat, and it's taking a hot minute. I'm Gabriel. trying to rem Gabriel. Ga no, Gabriel. Three. No, Gabriel's going with group one. Remember? Nope. They asked for nope. him. Right? Nope. nope. Oh. They I asked for Jamie. Group three. Sylvia group asked for four. Jamie to come with them. We got. Sylvia, Gabriel, Gabriel what group do you want Eric, to go with? Eric Bell. Is Eric Bell an NPC? Or is it yes, Eric Bell? is in fact an NPC. He's in, he's one of the people for, um, uh, that's going, he's in group one. He's going to the forest. He was from. Okay. Oh, right. I have him written down. I feel like Gabriel should yeah. go with group one, though. Autumn, Ryan, Lucille, Lucille. I don't know how great at stealth work I am. Uh. Or then do you want to come with us? Because that's not a mission in this. I'm going to gesture to me glowing and then like gesture to Aaron. Like stealth that, isn't That like... seems wise. Who Aaron that? just blushes on cue. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that that just talked? Gabriel. Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel is on our group now, okay. So how, wait, uh, how, how many people are in each, each group so far? Lucille. It's not our even. a lot of people. We need to make it more. Lucille's easy. going with group three. <laughs> You're not Which is good Lucille. because they need some muscle. They do need some people. Lucille did wrestle a dragon. Two, three, we four, five. On our One of the things she did. Wait. 11, 13, 12. Who's the 13? Seven people in group three. There's me, Maddie, Adelaide, Jane, Aaron, Jamie. It's. Um, Jamie is in group Lena's one. Character. Yeah, Jamie, Jamie isn't, isn't with us. One. All right. That's so all there's 12, 12 with us. Who's in group one? Jamie, Austin. Jamie, Sylvia, Austin, Eric. No, it wasn't Jamie. It was um, Felix. That's the one I was thinking of. Felix. Yeah, Felix is with us. So that's... Um, you guys Jamie making Cantor, lists Autumn, is spectacular Ryan. to witness. <laughs> Are you yeah, because there's three different people trying to make a list. Which is why I think it was good that only I made the mission list. Yeah, you made the mission list. I'm making the mission this, list right now. This is fantastic. But there uh, are like three so different people one. trying Let to make the group the, list. Let me makes... list out the people that I have so far. Okay, group one is Sylvia, Austin, Jamie, Eric, Mercedes, and Melody. Group two is Emma, Maddie, Adelaide, Jane, Aaron, Felix, uh, Selena's character, Autumn, Ryan, Gabriel, Kai, Alyssa, and Alyssa's person. I forget her name. Would it be Aaron. more... Hold up. Would it what? be... Sarah. Okay. And then group three is Jasper, Hazel, Mary-Kate, uh, Sawyer, Layla, Nina, and Lucille. Would it be uh, better story-wise to have Mara go with another group so that she can do her own thing? Absolutely and catch up not. 
because if yeah. Selena comes back in between, we set up a rather large timeline. You have a month and a half. That's like another twenty episodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No. I was like, if she, if Mara she doesn't is, come back. Mara is with you guys. If I Mara, was confident good. about the length of Silena's hiatus, I would know where to put her for sure. But because I don't, she's with you guys. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I think it makes sense. It's going to be group. one hell of a recap when she comes back. But. <laughs> <laughs> and send her the episodes. Make her watch them. Yeah, we have 13 people. Group three has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. And group one, which is obviously going to be the smallest, has yeah. six people. And may- maybe we should get a few more people from our group to go in group three? I don't group know. Three. How many NPCs are you cool with? I sh- is I, this good? I played all of them at one point, so uh, whatever. Okay, that's true. You still uh, are playing all of them. I still am, so like... Whatever you guys... It would really be wise if I went with y'all. Oh, no. Adelaide, please no. Adelaide, (laughs) Adelaide, isn't your whole specialty traumatized children? Like, I think this is a situation where we don't need you, Marcel needs you. Like, your whole specialty is helping them, right? Yeah, but... I want to help Marcel. I really do. But I'm just afraid that we will butt heads. It says, Adelaide. historically speaking, the amount of arguments you guys have gotten into is fairly monumental. And we have. I don't think we should Emma, have Emma, Emma. From our group out. There are actually yeah. two more people in our group because Kate and Catalina are also coming with us. Oh, true. Kate Friday? and Catalina. Are you guys coming with us? Or, no. Catalina, would you rather go with a different group? I have no bloody clue. Hmm, options. I get to pick. This is so much yeah, fun. You do. I don't want to go to Velina. That seems like a get stabbed place. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, every place is a get stabbed place. Uh, <laughs> but true. now you are free to stab back. Yes, that's yeah. true. And I can definitely, I could stab them with their own knife uh, very easily. <laughs> you just bend it, <laughs> really. It's never piss you off. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we already know that. <laughs> she robbed a dragon blind. We Hunter know not arm. to piss her off. Do the my thought process is: Do I want to see Silvis? Because one of these groups has a guaranteed other free fay. Because I could Would get you be so- able to keep yourself on keep the DL though. Pick, not gonna lie. Because stealth. Yeah, we 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 have established that I'm not. I'm, I'm not very stealthy, really. And we are going to see Cade's double. Cade's is close. Yeah. Yes, but we're going to figure out the Cade situation. That's true, and I am very curious about that as well. No, I'll stick with you guys for now. We should also figure out. I haven't out been to Drafis in a while, many. anyway. I've been stuck in Ever for like a thousand years. Well, a hundred, but Catalina. We still have to figure out the whole Cade's white memory thing. Yeah, Catalina, yeah, you'll I be would, continuing. I'm invested in figuring two things on our list out, Kate says. Catalina, you'll be continuing to need the crown, right? Because everywhere we go... We yeah, to... if I'm not disguised as a human, I'm gonna get stabbed. Or well, someone's gonna oh, try, okay. anyway. and That will end badly for them, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we have like a? Is she disguising herself as a bonded fae, or is she disguising? No, herself she's as, do- a as like a human person. Okay, we need to come up with a backstory for you, Catalina. We need like. Um, my name is Catherine. My nickname is Cat, so I can continue to have the same nickname. Please and thank you. All right. All right. All right. And you can just say, I'm know, from it, the Denal also? Yeah, so we could that, make it totally untraceable. No questions. <laughs> well, yeah, any questions. question they ask, you but can I could totally make it up and they, would, they can't fact check. The only okay. person who can fact check is Sarah. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. I don't or Sarah you will call you on yourself. And just say yeah, and like, even I don't know everything about the Denal, so... You really could just make some BS up. And it, like, chances are it's probably true. <laughs> Are you from a floating island? Do you live in a volcano? <laughs> You've got so many options. Floating island inside a volcano. 
That's what yes, like hovering right at the tip of a volcano. That is actually or where the volcano, volcano city is. Every time it erupts, it just shoots a little higher up in the air and then comes back <laughs> down. <laughs> Adelaide, yeah. which group are you going to go with? Might as well do my job. Hallelujah. And you're good with kids. You should go with the kid group. <laughs> Uh, we do have, we have all of the children in this group. I might be good with kids, but trust me. <laughs> 20 plus years of being around kids. Yeah, you guys make these decisions. All right. Okay. So start group to one, you need a sending stone. Group three, you need a sending stone. We have a sending stone. Yep. But sending like stones, you might that. recall, are not commonplace here on Althara. They are mm. a denial invention. Oh... We will have more. We will probably uh, actually. I don't know. Do you think it'd be hard to find a, a sending stone in the in the mirror grove? Felix, what's your like? What's your like thinking range? Not across a continent. Okay. Like, Preferably, right. like I see you, but like I I can do across a couple walls. But if I sending stone you guys something, I can. You guys can respond. So what if I, what if, I don't know how many times I can use this, but what if I do it like halfway through the time before we're going to meet? Just to check up? Yeah, just, and if one of, if something horrible happens and like someone dies, maybe we try to get in contact sooner. (laughs) Yeah. I hate that. That's And that's why I'll do a checkup in the middle of when (coughs) we're supposed to meet up before then. Also, Jamie, would you mind giving us each group a different like radio thing so each group can stay in contact. I'll make walkie talkies. I can't really make working radio because that's, towers. That's what I meant. Walkie talkies. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Walkie talkie, walkie talkie, walkie talkie, walkie talkie, walkie talkie. Every once in a while, he gets like an actual talkie, like the snack that's just like one of those wind up toys that toddles. Throws that over his shoulder. Okay, here you guys go. Thank you. That's great. Uh, and somewhere through this conversation, Marcel will point at the drawing of her stuff, and will like. I don't know. Knock her head. A little. We should try Dark. to. We should try to get that on the way. We should take care oh, of. Oh, hey that. Phoenix, can you? Um, Let's check in with close towns. I mean, they broke her wrist and her ankle too. So, absolutely. But like, okay, uh, Marcel, can you think of the person who attacked you? And she nods. And Felix does his thing. Okay, have a person. Can you can you share it? Uh, and he shares a, a yes, and he shares an image of perhaps younger than you guys expected, like younger than you guys, definitely, like still would be child to you. Uh, kid yeah, of. Uh, like dark skin, brown, brown hair. You're older than Felix, definitely, but younger than you guys. So an absolute punk is what yeah. you're saying. <laughs> uh, a punk teen is that is that what I'm saying? Uh huh. That that might in fact be what I am saying. Uh, with a a scar over his left eyebrow, uh, and not wearing like the banditry clothes that you probably pictured in your head uh, like very the- colorful traveler's garbs with like you can see some leather armor underneath but it's covered by these really bright fabrics does he have the fingerless fishnet gloves though no those don't yes. exist here unfortunately uh, but you but maybe if you could get away with it maybe if they did exist maybe he would have this So it was like part of a traveling band. Do we know if that like circus thing is near here again? Circus thing. Yeah. Uh, remember the according to Marcel's time. picture, he was alone when she was attacked. It was just this guy. Yeah, but he could have been separated from circus. That is so very true. Maybe the circus thing is still in the area. It does kind of look like that, like bright yeah. traveler's clothing. Are there? Do we, are there like? If we look at the map, are there like cities or towns nearby? Uh, 
Yes, the nearest one uh, to you guys on, is on, familiar <laughs> to you guys. You've been there before. It's Otrum. It's the city that's on the edge of the Mirror Groves. Uh, it, it is one of the last places you guys went before you left the Mirror Groves, and then Ezekiel got kidnapped. Hmm. So are we going to check in? Are we going to pop into Otrum and see if we can find this punk? I mean, we can. Well, Jasper yeah. sends up. Group three should probably head out because we have a long flight and that flight isn't airplane powered, so. Wait, wait, wait. Food. Let's divide resources. Oh, smart, smart. Sylvia Shrugs, we're just going to teleport right to where we were. Which has okay, food, yeah, you guys so don't need resources, fine. but we, sh- you we should, should split resources. Group two and three should split food. I'm going to type up the different groups and post them in the group chat, like, decently, not just how we're doing it. Um, that's going to be, the, the group chat is going to be very, very helpful in the future. Yeah. To be like, what are we forgetting? Everything. <laughs> Who are we forgetting? All of it. Who? Yeah, that's a big one, too. Um, oh, yeah, quick head count before we head out. Everyone is present. Jane is sure. just going to be um, like, we should probably find this guy because, let's see, like, one of the items in her possession was a teleportation stone, so presumably all of those no, are either... She that has broke. that. It's yeah, she has that, but... because she but, used it, right? Yeah, but they're... She, like, points at her... She didn't draw what the rest of her possessions were, but assumably they are, like, more magic stuff. Yeah, which is why we yeah. should find it. So, can you draw those for us? So, if we have to, like, check in a pawn shop, we can see if they have some of your stuff. Do they have pawn Okay, she draws there? more vague ovals, so definitely more stones, because she doesn't have access to color. I don't know what type they are. Should we uh, just ask Felix to do the mine thing again? Oh, yeah. Think of all the stuff you lost. This is gonna be a fun game, kid. <laughs> I'm just imagining Felix, like, standing straight every time he does this, and then he's, like, out for thir- three seconds, so he's just, like, caught myself. <laughs> um, he's back, back to what he's doing. Uh, okay, so there were more travel stones in that, uh, and some old books, and a sword, and, like, a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> There's, oh boy. like, a whole trunk of things. <laughs> There's no way to trace travel stones, right? Because if they used them, then we might be screwed. If there was, don't you think Urin would have called Cades on his bullshit the first... Matthias will pause, drop a coin in the swear jar, and then keep talking. <laughs> and uh, I did not lie about me being mistakenly dropped by a travel stone. That was not part of the lie. <laughs> <laughs> but Erwin would have checked. Yeah, he would have. If there was a but way, it was right? not part of a lie, so he would have found a travel stone, like, essence on me if there was a way to check. Oh, there's no way to check. Not that I, I know. I say we, we zigzag and we hit the closest towns on the way out. Now it's gonna take a long time. Uh, why don't we oh, stop by the place where we... Automas, are we flying to those towns? Or are we gonna short fly and not summon another another airplane every time we like take off and land take off and land it'll be easier to spot them from lower so i don't think we should do the airplane um can you guys summon like a cart then it was a car we could do a car we could do a car we can do a lambo Summon a bus. A bus. bus is faster. A bus is faster. I, was I don't think any of us have had a cars. good experience with a bus recently. Let's not tempt fate. A we can do, we do an English bus. bus with double deckers. We can do a hippie bus. Have a you ever seen bus. one of those? Party bus. We can do a party bus. No, not a party bus. A hippie bus. No, like, a, like, a, a like an old Volkswagen van. Uh, Woody sucks though. We need do not shake your can, head at me. Can, you did not have the drive one. Aaron, does we it need have to something, be something that can that fit all of us? I hope you must would yeah. fit would fit in like a small town. Trust Clown me. car, let's go. <laughs> no. Trench <Trent> limo. <laughs> yeah. Let's trench limo. I mean, Felix, if we're like trying to find someone, maybe we shouldn't be like the most obvious people in the universe. 
How about Maybe carriage we should line? go like a uh, like a shorter car or something. Carriage line, like a motorized carriage, to sort of fit in. A carriage without a, a carriage without a horse is just a car. So exactly. Make it a mechanical horse. horse. A couple of a couple of jeeps would fit all of us. Like two jeeps would fit all of us, and we could get there pretty fast. And all terrain. Hey, that bracelet disappeared yet? There's that list of people, by the way. Not yet. Hey, at least we know it lasts longer than a day. Okay, so what are you guys doing? You guys heading out now? I made a list of all the people and sent it in the group. And chat how are you heading out? Where are you going? Um, before we leave, Jane would like to go back to the place where we found her to see if there's any evidence left of her being robbed. That is smart, because Matthias did not check for that. He was like, oh, oh, Felix, like, Matthias. I can do something there, too! <laughs> um, yeah, the Earth thing. Uh, so, yeah, you guys go back to the place, uh, where she, uh, was unconscious. Does Felix do a thing? Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Nothing happened. Yet. <laughs> you didn't say yet. You were going to. <laughs> you implied it. I just left it hanging. You guys can fill it in. Good enough by now. Huh? It's on your way to Otrum because it was in that direction. So the groups head out. Group number one finds a tree. They're gone. Jasper turns into a giant bird thing. They take off. The tribe troopers are gone. Uh. And you guys are left to look at this crime scene. Uh. Or, assumably, a crime scene. Uh. There isn't much sign of, like, combat, but if this was, like, a fight between an eight-year-old girl and, like, a 16, 17, 18-year-old guy, there wasn't gonna be. (laughs) Though there are some strange things about if someone wants to roll an investigation. I will. Also, Mouse is luck. Yes. Mouse luck is back. Officially. Uh, so remember that. And it also means he's somewhere in the area, too. He's within Mere Grove's area. I got a nine. Oh, we might um, and what's plus luck again? Yeah, we, we will. Just plus one. It's just plus one. So, easily a ten. Yeah. Do you just want to ask one question? Or do you want to yeah. add more and get more? Okay, what is your one question? What suspicious stuff do I see? That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should use that one more often. <laughs> Sometimes you get really specific with your questions. I'm like, you missed so much. Uh, but uh, Adelaide, you take a look around. Uh, at first, nothing seems too amiss. I mean, a day has gone by. Uh, there are some scattered footprints of smaller feet, presumably Marcel's, like stuff scattered on the like imprints of where stuff would have been scattered on the ground from where she like fell. Uh, and, uh, bigger footprints of, assumably, the the guy, uh, who robbed her. Uh, but you would notice that the the grass is singed a little. Not like it was burned. Did Uh, I like to ask one question? Uh, that is one of the suspicious things you notice. Uh, the next is, like, an indent in the ground, like something was stabbed into the ground. Jesus Christ, please tell me you did not use a sword on this little girl. Alright. How far do I see the foot? But, but, footprints, footprints. Uh, it, they're scattered, like this is a decently traveled road, too. It's not yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so there are some other footprints and, like, horse trails that kind of block it are off. The, but... Are the footprints... Do they have a specific boot shape? Nothing really identifiable with 
uh, your one question expended. Jane. No. <laughs> All right. I have to add a lot, which is fine. Um, you roll? I, I got a four, but that's Oh, fine. lovely. Let's do this. I have three Lobos cards, and all of them are like investigation. Let's so. do it. Ready? Please, I know how you think. If I were you, discretion is advised, creative, duties and the right questions, and in range of mouse. And mouse luck. So you have seven questions. <laughs> All right. Does, does Adelaide share what she's seven? I, I am assuming, uh, again, uh, as this is a mystery solving game, unless you specifically tell me you don't tell people things, I'm going to assume you, anything I say is common knowledge. I want to try to investigate in depth the things that were suspicious that she noticed. Okay, so you have seven questions. Let's go through them. What so would you like, what'd you like to ask first? Investigate the singed and the dent more. Okay, so... Uh, it, the, the dent is not that deep into the ground. This is actually something that you know a little bit more how to do, because Austin, uh, is a, a criminal psychologist, so most of the things that he has imparted onto you, uh, in your lessons with him have been focused mostly around crime, and so you do know a little bit about crime scene investigation. Uh, cool. this is not a sword stab. It is not far enough into the ground for that, uh, Maybe a dagger, maybe a knife. Uh, it had, it, you notice as you get down and look at it that it's hilt, like it was driven all the way up to the hilt because you can see the indent of what the hilt looks like. It has odd ridging on it. Uh, the singe, uh, would definitely not happen naturally. Like, there's no way a fire just started randomly, uh, and then stopped and didn't burn all of the grass. Uh, if there was a fire, it started really quickly and then stopped really quickly. Because it, it didn't burn through most of the grass. Like, when I mean singed, I mean, like, the tops are barely burned off. And it doesn't look like it was put out with anything, correct? Uh, no, it is not obviously wet. There's no, like, mud. It hasn't rained in a couple days. Okay, uh, can I think back to before uh, Hazel healed, uh, Marcel? Sure, and if you really want, Felix can just drag up the memory so you can get a very visceral be, view of that. That as would well. be wonderful. Um, I would like to. I, are there. What injury, like, in depth, what are her injuries looking like? Uh, she's covered in dirt and, and blood. She still is, because she hasn't, like, clean, been cleaned off or anything. But none of her wounds would cause bleeding. But there was still blood on yes, the ground. Yes, like, not on the ground, on, on her. her. And it is, That's perhaps, a, as you're, inv you're investigating this, uh, a little odd. Uh, there is no mud, but she is covered head to toe in dirt and dust. Uh, can I ask her a question? Certainly try. Um, Marcel. Uh, she looks up at you. Can you de can you describe to me exactly what happened? Uh, uh, we she like, like once oh, again. Wait. Can't, can't talk. Can you think it? Uh, she looks at, like, Felix and, like, does the thing. And Felix, like, the memory is really blurry because it's how Marcel remembers it. Landed, and then this immediately happened in her head, so. It's not very she, detailed. <laughs> she landed and immediately she was, like, passed out or she was robbed? Attacked. Attacked. Can I look at the f the different footprints to kind of see? Can I try to envision what went down with by looking at the movement of the footsteps? Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, help with you that can. If you, need help. you can 
Yeah, this is something that you're doing as a group effort. Like, Jane's asking the questions, but you're all on your fours investigating this right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, like saying, oh, I found another footprint that matches who what we think is this guy's footprint over here. Uh, and that, because it seems to be a pretty wide array of things. Uh, you see, like, deep set footprints of, like, Marcel's feet maybe where she landed the okay. first time, because they are a little heavier set, so, like, jumping or landing. Uh, you can you can find where the boot prints started and, like, follow them up like they were walking. Uh, and they, like, stopped, and it's a, again, it's a little, a little hard to tell, because there are other people have used this road since, scattering dust and things about uh, Other people have used the road where Marcel's unconscious on the side of it. Okay. Yes. Other people have used this road. Well, Marcel, that is interesting. Uh, I think that's a it, that it kind of doesn't read. Yeah, something is not right. It doesn't read right. Like, as you're looking at the footprints, something something's a little off because uh at no point do the boot prints and marcel's like small feet get close enough to where the guy would have been able to like grab or break wrist or break ankle does it look like we're looking for a super powered little prick i'm gonna ask this to jane Can I ask, like, what is it we're missing here? <laughs> it, it's starting to seem like it. Oh, finish the fire. It's starting to seem like uh, Marcel did something, or someone did something to Marcel before she was teleported. Hey, Marcel, do you have firepower? Uh, she shakes her head, but like, uh writes down in really big letters magic. Like, she obviously is magic. Like, she has magic. That's how she used the teleportation stones. She's not- Okay. She sort of tries to communicate that she's not trained. (laughs) Oh, okay. Like, she's not old enough to go to, like, a magic school yet. Do you think it's possible you might have used fire without realizing it? Uh, she kind of, like- Or did the other guy- Squints her eyes and, like, makes a, a, like, a maybe symbol. Like, maybe- she did that, okay. but she doesn't remember very well. Did the person you were fighting have magic? Do you remember? Uh, she shakes her head. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't remember. She does not remember that. Okay. Maybe. Mm, I want to find out what's happening. <laughs> Me too. It's I'm not, not sure what questions to ask. Will you guys help? Yeah. Anyone else have any questions? She Are we want looking for a I'm not even counting at this point. Prick. Anyone listening? Do you think that the guy has magic? Mayhaps. Mm-hmm. Mayhaps. It does not seem like the singe came from like Marcel out. It seemed like a like a spray from like where those guys like the guys' footprints were. Okay. So it, it doesn't seem like this is something that that Marcel did. Do I think Marcel was hurt before Marcel? she teleported here? Uh, you ha- don't know. It doesn't, like, the, the, it doesn't track that the guy would be, have been able to get close enough to give her those injuries. Uh. Are there any- she, she doesn't drop in her picture, she doesn't draw herself looking sad or injured before she lands. What, okay, what are the other boot, when did these- Boot prints happen. Like, what was the chronological order of the? Uh, presumably, sometime within the last twenty-four hours. I then like the ones going over her tracks were there when she was unconscious. I can assume. Uh, I mean, they'd have to be if they were after, wouldn't they? And they appear to be after, correct? Seemingly, yes. 
All right, so here's my theory. Either Marcel or the other one has invisibility magic or some sort of cloaking magic, maybe that uses something with the mist. And the mist isn't really here, but like that would have made uh, Marcel not visible to whoever was passing by, or whoever was passing by is just really rude and ignored it. Like that's like past rude. Like rude people yeah, will just... still stop for a nine-year-old girl that's injured. Like you can be a total jerkwad and still, I know total jerkwads who would not leave a nine-year-old girl on the side of the road unconscious. So, so either the person we're looking for has invisibility, invisibility magic or something to do with a myth, or like illusion magic, or Marcel does and doesn't know about it. Since and accidentally cloaked magic. herself? Yeah, possible. I'm not I guess that makes you. sense. I still think that we should try and hit the towns and see if we can find this yeah, Absolutely and you so. notice that, Jane, the footprints do, instead of continuing onward and going away from the mirrors, they stop and they turn around. Like, they leave oh. after this. Huh. Can so I... it, it does go back in the direction of town. Hmm. That's um, interesting. Do Marcel's boots match her f- the child-shaped footprints? Yes. And they're not boots. They're, like... Nice, fancy, fancy, little... fancy like indoor slippers. Oh, oh the no. ones that like, like give you, your feet you know the, the ones that your mom made she made you wear at Christmas. Yes. The shiny black ones with the bow on top. Oh my yes. god! I... Hey, Marcel. Oh, she looks at you. Did the person who were uh, robbed you? Did they break your wrist and ankle? Uh, she nods. Yes. Uh, I say we hit town. It would have been magic. Pass out before or after that happened. Hmm? Did you pass out before uh, the person broke your ankle and wrist? Before it's in her head, no. Okay, so after. Matthias scoops down and gives her a hug. Oh. She leans into it. Is there a river nearby, for chance? So she. Is there a river nearby? River? Not really. There, one of the, one of, like there are a couple things that Althara definitely lacks in comparison to Earth, and that is forests and rivers, like large bodies of water. All right. That's Normally, why there are these big open fields with no towns in them. Um, the items. It looks like she picks them all up, right? Like the footprints got heavier as he walked back away. Uh, yeah, they're, the items aren't there anymore, and there are indents of where a couple might have landed. But does it but seem the like... footsteps get heavier. Yeah, like they were holding them. No. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Possible more cooking magic? You guys' sound effects make my day. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I wanna- I'm, we're missing something! I oh. bet the stuff is still lying around. Wait, can I just go picking air to see if I hit anything? Close? Uh, no. There is nothing lying around. <laughs> okay. Jane is just like shaking Emma her head at Emma like... like... <laughs> Emma yeah. shuffling her feet along. Like you do if you lose something in the snow, you're just like... Yes. Emma, oh my god. I'm pretty sure not everybody in this party had invisibility. No, I think cloaking. Invisibility. Who knows? But doesn't look like he carries the stuff away. Uh, can I try to find the stuff? This will probably be the it's last. It's no longer here. Oh, okay. I, then I'm gonna just use the last thing. We're gonna follow those tracks. Okay. Using the, the, your last clue to try to catch this guy. Yeah. Get this punk team. <laughs> Maybe you can tell us more about so it. Bad. I, uh, dude, I'm still kind of sus of Marcel. Not gonna lie. Me too. No. Marcel Mar- has Matthias wrapped around her pinky finger. <laughs> yeah. I'm so I she has she has mud and blood on her. It's not her blood. Um Oh hey, Marcel. Whose blood is that? You're gonna ask something. She l- looks and like uh like gestures to the guy. Oh, okay. 
Uh, she shakes her head no. No? Uh, no. She, like, draws on her picture, like, she adds back to her picture. Uh, like, she's, she's trying to communicate something here. <laughs> uh, so was he hurt when he came up to you? Uh, she, like, thinks about it for a bit and, like, maybe. <laughs> maybe? She, what, what is her what picture? Is she adding picture? Blood, like, the guy was bleeding. Okay. okay. Oh. Alright, we'll do our yeah, best to try and get your stuff back. Uh, she nods, thankfully. I'm gonna try to envision what the dagger looked like. Uh, you think the metal would have been on the cheaper side? Uh, though the, uh, from what you could get from the ridges of the, uh, the, bleh. All... All vocabulary just left my mind for a, a brief second, and that was frightening. I forgot how to speak English. Uh, <laughs> I do it I so every often. Day. Every day. Oh God, Don't worry yeah. about it. <laughs> it's not hilt. I know that's not what it's called. The but guard? I, Blade? Yes! The, the guard! Thank you, Cassidy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the guard yeah, of the, the way is actually quite ornate. Like, from the ridging, it would it would be designed and very, like... Hey, uh, Fancy Adelaide, mm-hmm. um, so from what we know, this punk's blood is on her dress. Do you want to maybe try that blood bloodhound me. thing? <laughs> bloodhound, it's perfect. Marcel looks with wide eyes as Adelaide turns into a dog. Oh, um, Mar- yeah, that's Jane is going to sketch the, what she thinks the dagger may look like, and she's like, hey, is this yours? Uh, she, one of your items? She shakes her head, nope. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, so, Bloodhound Adelaide! Adelaide uh, the blood. You, you do catch a scent. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matthias will put Marcel and Ezekiel, one of them on his front and one of them on his back. Aww. Is she comfortable with that? I mean, she's wearing the most uncomfortable shoes to walk in ever, so she's thankful for not having to walk right now, yes. Those are Marcel. blister shoes. <laughs> Marcel, you can take your shoes off and we can carry them for you. It might just be more comfortable than not. She does them. that as soon as she has permission to do so. Adelaide <laughs> <laughs> runs off in the direction that she smells the scent. We follow. Yeah. Matthias yeah. So, like, makes sure, make sure they're holding on tight and then jogs off after Adelaide. Yeah, it's not... Uh, not less than a couple hours old. Like... There, like, there's a stale of this scent, and then there's a fresher version of it that you catch, like, in the area recently. So he's still bleeding. Hmm. Uh, something like that. But you follow. Or he's like, <laughs> in a ditch. <laughs> the robber got robbed. Matthias, she gestures to the children. <laughs> no. Uh, Jane will uh, carry the issue. Uh, but yeah, you run off, and eventually you can see the town of Otram in the distance. I'm just gonna sprint through, like, dead set and finding this kid. Uh, but Adelaide, right as you're about to hit, like, the outskirts of the town, the scent veers suddenly and sharply, uh, off into the fields that, uh, kind of veer off from, uh, the mirror groves. Sharp turn, then. Yep. You guys watch it. <laughs> we'll falter, put the kids down, wait until there's other people there, and then we'll take off full sprint after Adelaide when he doesn't have children on him. Jane is just he's like, panting. What if yeah, there's a bad guy? guy? Like, uh, here. Adelaide, you're going pretty fast, uh, Matthias, on your heels. Uh, you're, like, at, th- at this point, uh, like, the, the scent is getting fresher as you're chasing it. Uh, like it is a, a traveling like you can smell like food with it as well like traveling in a direction now uh, to those of you going a little slower I'll pick up um, Ezekiel I'll pick, Jane and I'll pick take up uh, yeah I'll take up Marcel uh, and I'll for, ta- for those going a little slower you can track the, the boot prints <laughs> on the ground as well I'm going to turn to Aaron and I'll be like 
Do the footsteps at any point get heavier like they're carrying the weight? Uh, not obviously so. Like, not deeply imprinted anymore. Alright. Definitely, uh, uh, steps lightly. Like, the footprints are hard to see, uh, so you do have to go slow to track them. Alright. And uh, do I see any footprints ever in- intersecting with this step? Like, like walking they, alongside, or yeah, or like, cr- like running up to them and animal like, prints, perhaps. Or uh, at at some time, sometimes you do see like other footprints get near enough, like there's a like and stopping and talking, perhaps. Mm. And the footprints do go back into town first, and then come back out. Let's go into the town first, and then let's look for their <laughs> stuff. Marcella and I, I mean, Matt and I are just in the cornfields now. No, no I well, think we got more. As they're but... shinting, Matthias is gonna like look at Adelaide and be like, I have a dramatic opening line that I want to say. Please let me say it. What's that? And he's gonna explain, and he's gonna explain what he's gonna do, but when they find this kid, I will, I will like share out. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm. Uh, terrified uh but uh you guys go back into town but they are actually going to find uh this punk kid as we are calling him first so we'll stay with them uh as uh eventually i'd say adelaide you you know you're getting close but your eyes are that of a dog's right now so uh matthias you see uh it takes a while like you watch Adelaide slow down like you're in the area now, and you don't see it at first. Uh, but walking in, like zigzagging in and out of the tree line, uh, like sticking very close to the underbrush, like to a place to be much, very hard to spot, uh, is a, a punk kid in this bright traveler's garb that you saw before. No, and just he's there. Just he's there, walking along. Matthias, so he's walking in front of us. Yeah, it doesn't. Matthias will slow to a more reasonable pace, but wants to. I want to walk up behind him and just clap my hand on his shoulder. Uh, As soon as you get within ten feet or so, twenty, he does see and hear you're there. Uh, Not pinnacles of stealth. Matthias yeah, no. will never no, sneak up on a person try. ever. Uh, and he turns and looks at you and then like sees the I'm like, are you like growling? What are you doing as a dog? Hot you bitch. <laughs> as a dog, do you say that? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Matthias is gonna take out the drawing, like the children's drawing, and be like, hey kiddo, we were looking for you, and like hold it up. <laughs> And he immediately backs and takes off running. Uh, oh, into the forest. After him. Into after the forest. Him. I want to tackle into him the as mirror soon as he tries to take into, off. Straight into the forest. Okay, mm-hmm. I, uh, I'm gonna need you to roll a hit it with all you've got. And also, after you're done with that, you're gonna roll two other things, cause you're gonna get them. <laughs> uh, okay. But I'll tell you what those are when we get there. <laughs> Okay, this is amazing, because I rolled Thank double you know, sixes. For you. Okay, 12, but that is a- But I'm chasing him, which means I can add my track and field, which so makes that dynamite. dynamite. So okay. you get the dynamite improvements. I don't know what they are off of the top of my head. Uh, it, um, with the, uh, you get all three of them, with the hit it with all you've got. Uh, the hit it, that's with go toe to toe. Er. Hit it with all you've got has like five options. I think you might just get a third. I'm not sure. Ooh, I'm shaking. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> that <laughs> and probably caffeine. So excited to, to tackle this punk kid. Yeah, that and I just finished a monster. Um, so I get him. Um, let me look at... This is so... This book, yeah, I love it, but it's organized weird. It's in the moves. It, like every move when it, that it explains it, it's underneath, like in the dynamite. It explains why every move is, how every move becomes dynamite. I had to figure that out too. 
We're not experts, once I remind you. Even 43 episodes in, we're not episode experts on the City of Mistral set. I don't think we ever will be. No, I think... Oh. Like, I've, I've been playing Dungeons & Dragons for like five years, and I still would not consider myself a Dungeons & Dragons rule expert. I mean, you and I have been playing tabletop games for a very long seven time. years-ish. Six, seven years? A very long time, yes. Brag about our nerd Nobody flip here. song. Doesn't sound like much, but that's like, that's like a good almost half of our actual lives. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it was all you've got, and then dynamite. I get an outstanding hit. I choose one from the list. Defend another. Hit him hard. Extreme collateral damage. Control the conflict. Uh, so, is there a counter strike coming? No. No? Um, no. Not from him. I will control the conflict and take two juice then for my dynamite move. Okay, and you still get the the choose two, I believe. Yes. So I want to co control collateral because I don't want to accidentally shatter this kid. Yes, he um, is a twig. He is a twig. Oh. And then I would like to secure a superior position, and then let me mark my juice. Okay. Uh. So you, like, straight-up football tackle this kid. You go immediately tumbling into the underbrush of this area, which hurts. doesn't really do anything to you because you, like, heal immediately, but it's, like, thorny. <laughs> as as oh. all hell. Uh, but as you do that, I'm going to need you to roll two things for me. Okay. Uh, the first is a face danger. A physical or mental? This one is physical. Oh. <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, and so that's eight. Um, and then I can quick, very easily add footwork um, and track and field. Yeah, you you dodge whatever is about to come at mm -hmm. you very succinctly. Yeah. yeah. No, perhaps not yeah. dodge. Maybe okay. you just take the hit because. It's a little surprising, and you're still grabbed onto this kid. Then the next thing I need to roll is a take the risk. This one is mental. Ooh, yay, mental. So good at these. <laughs> oh, please be better than that. Okay, that's not horrible. That's not horrible. That's also an eight. The first one was a two. The second one was a six. Remember so my heart your stopped. Mouse luck. So nine plus one. Um, mouse luck, Luke. And then, let's see, do I have anything to add? Uh, Protect, because this is for a child? I don't have that. That's not me. Not, not anymore. Me. Yeah. Oh, yes. I have protect. You're, you're remembering right, Jane, Matthias did have a card featuring around, you know, protecting small children, specifically one small child. <laughs> um, it's sleep it is for the weak. I have a little bit of extra mental fortitude. Sure. I'll okay, let so that gives slide. Me a 10. I'll let that slide. <laughs> Yay, okay. I would like to give Maddie a help point. No, 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 he, I'm he's up to 10. It. I don't need it. He, he's reached okay. it. Uh, and uh, immediately, as soon as you tackle this kid, he shouts, "Get off of me!" And <sighs> luckily for you, it's just fire. You're fine. Uh, flares <laughs> out. I literally laugh in his face. But something does. But it's not normal fire. Like something happens here, and you feel like chill down your spine. Like something feels immediately wrong. Uh. And it does sort of surprise you a little. You loosen your grip just a bit, but because it's a dynamite move, you immediately like grab his ankle when he tries to run away and just drag him back. <laughs> yeah, I want to drag him to the road with me. Let go of me. We have some questions. All right. 
he glares at you, but does stand and walk with you. So, you keep a hand on him. Mm-hmm. Just in case. Just in case. I was a punk but kid. You do, I know how you, punk kids You do are. immediately see where the fire came from, though, when he turns around. There is a ring he wears on a necklace. And his neck that just finished, like, glowing and is now. So, has that always been yours, or was that another thing you stole from the little girl? Stealing from a little girl? I've not stolen from children, thank you very much. Really, child. you don't recall breaking her wrist and ankle and then leaving her on the side of the road? Well, that sounds horrible. No. Stick of truth. <laughs> <laughs> a dog just comes over with a stick in its mouth? <laughs> <laughs> right on the shins. <laughs> <laughs> a small little blood now. <laughs> Right yeah. in the front of the knees, and this kid topples forward a little bit. Dog <laughs> thwack. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. You sure you don't remember? I don't know. I'm gonna describe Marcel and in those um, pretty little you, black shoes. Do you, do you describe Marcel, but you don't add anything else, right? You just say, do you remember this girl? Is that the question? Mm-hmm. He immediately pales, and through the stick of truth, uh, he doesn't really answer, he just says, what? Is she here? And he, like, turns she's around. With the, the, she's with the rest of our group. And he, if it's possible, turns more pale. <laughs> Why? What are you afraid of? <laughs> Not her. Who are you afraid of then? The thing she brings with her. Which is? I don't even know how to describe it. Right. <laughs> Have you ever watched uh- a person suffocate to death? Yes. Uh, Matthias really thinks about it. Not yet. I have. Uh, no, that's not my part. Man. Lucky man. Yeah. Not a pretty sight. Not at all. Anyways, <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Everything. Uh, why is she here? Uh, according to her, a mishap with a travel stone. Yeah. Shit. And then you robbed her? I definitely did not rob her. I would remember robbing a child. Don't worry. It's working. Okay. Did you say so? It's okay. Felix will be here soon. He'll be able to pick through your memories. And it will be especially helpful that you'll be standing right next to her so we'll know exactly why you're afraid. He looks at you, and suddenly, Matthias, you feel really cruel. He's 16, 17, and he looks scared out of his mind. Matthias feels bad and almost cracks, but doesn't. Because Matthias is like, we've heard from a nine-year-old that this guy, like, broke her wrist and ankle, like. But is she really a nine-year-old? And you know Did you he's pose this the... question? <laughs> now this is a satellite's mind. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, can I grab something? Sure, I'll go with you. Again? No, I'll from my bag, you, you smartass. Go for it. <laughs> and he grabs out a piece of paper, and he hands it over. What's this? Matthias will read it carefully. Like You open it up. It is a missing persons poster for this little girl. Marcel, uh, her last name, Winsmere. Ah, where did I put my journal? There it is. Uh, she does not look nearly as dolled up in this photo. Or in this drawing, like, sketch. Oh, 
Okay, so clearly you know more than you're letting on, and they're gonna be here soon, so you better, like, start explaining well, things. I found this in... Which town was it? I think it was Astrakhan. Uh... She's not, you know, Wait, she's not from there. Astrakhan. It does say in the photo, she's from Sky Stud. She's from Andrathus. That doesn't add up. And so did she attack you? Maddie, that doesn't no. add up. I don't know what's not adding up. I'm kind of lost here. I haven't she seen her for was, um, a week. No More than a week now, probably. Matthias will talk into the walkie-talkie and be like, Hey, go ahead and take your time. We're having some trouble finding him. And we'll put the walkie-talkie in his pocket. Can you Happy let go of me now? I'm not going to run. Unless the plan is to take me immediately to her. Of which case, I'm going to run and probably do other things. Matthias will let go. Thank you. So, what happened when you saw her a week ago? I was on the road, and it was very late at night. There were other people on the road. I had reason to believe that those other people may or may not have wanted me dead. So I hid in a ditch, and they didn't find me. But there was another woman behind me on the road. And uh, she died. What did this woman look like? Uh, she was uh, a woman of the the cloth, I think. Uh, Black hair. I think uh, higher in the ranks. Uh, Holy Sister. She had the circlet. Can I describe Sister Lovithia? Because that's the only one that we know around this area. Yeah, she's from around here, too. And she was heading yeah. to Andrathus, which is where this guy says he saw that. Uh, uh, yeah. No. That sounds right. Are you fucking with me? Wait, does that feel targeted to you? That feels oddly targeted to me. Okay, the chat. Sonia has just said, haha, another one of my theories proven correct. It doesn't count if you throw out every single thing you think of. That's not a theory. That's just you making That's wild true. guesses. Of course one of them that is going to be That one was a theory. That one was Emma, a theory. Emma, I'm pretty sure it's incorrect because at the beginning you were rambling on about uh, invisibility and that has not come into play okay, at that all. Was that was that false. That was your actual... That was your actual... Our resident guess. conspiracy theorist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I was right later on. Luckily, this is a game built around conspiracies, so uh -huh. maybe one of those is right. How did she die? Yeah. Laughing. Oh, dear God. Mm. <clears throat> hey, uh, do you want to, like, try and, you know, you and Cades are buds and be like, Hey, Cades, I need your help. Please come to this place because yeah. you guys are more. Oh, I hope this doesn't break his mind. Because mm, there's already a second of him. And I think we've just got on the right Ooh, path. Oh, yeah. Was it per- was there perchance another gentleman there that was pink? There were two f familiars there. Was one of them pink? Very much so. Mm. Yeah, you might want to get kids over here because we think I found- we found his evil twin. Lovely. Why do you you said this was a week ago? Uh, no, I did kind of lollipop. <laughs> longer than- a little a longer than that, but yes. Can I just take out a what lollipop the other and yell like? Uh, yes, I, I do. Uh, one, uh, was pink and butterfly-ish, insect-y. Oh no! Uh, and the other was, 
uh, a woman in appearance with, uh, looked like almost she was made of stone, uh, and she had ram horns. We don't know any fey that fit that mm. description? No. You guys do not. So how do I summon Cades? I mean, I imagine he- I, like, hold up the walkie-talkie? I don't know if he has one or he even knows how to work one. Cades is with me, and I, we all have walkie-talkies. No, I feel- no, the, I the woman's name was them. the woman's name was Tarina. Did you get the I, man's name? No. I have a guess. I lied to Emma. Over. Hello. Are we doing the over over thing? Yes. Over. Can you get kids over here, please? Over. Will do. Over. Kate, would you want to go uh, where Adelaide is? She's calling for you. Did she say where she was? <laughs> Matthias will put like a little arrow in the sky. Never I mind. Think over there. I, I yeah, think I, I think I figured okay. it out. <laughs> the rest of you like go shopping or something. Like really, you like do. take your time. Over. <laughs> over. <laughs> hey. Um, Marcel, you want to go shopping for some more comfortable clothes? Nods. Emphatically. <laughs> Perfect. Those kids get here pretty quickly. I'll, I'll go get you, mm -hmm. I'll go get you, uh, but all dressed up. As kids starts flying away, we pull away. Damn it. <laughs> We pull away, but there is nothing but void to greet us. Hands over our eyes. There's nothing to be seen here. And with that, episode 43 of Kingmakers Distant comes to a close. I've been your MC, and we will see you all next time.